So, we've got our box. Half bushel box. And we are going to go pick some apples for the chicken. Yes, crab apple. Let's roll. Let's roll. Wait, stop. Who parked that car in a 45? Oh, interesting. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so that was me. That's okay. Somebody had the idea to walk all the way out here and not drive. This guy. Maybe one day I'll venture to the mailbox and get the paper. Do a video. Yeah. So this tree is a wild tree. We found it spontaneously growing. It's on the edge of the property. It's not inside, it's actually on the uh, outside of the fence just a bit. So we gotta go down to the road. Yeah, it's this right here. Oh, mosquito. Where? Fighting my own. Got it? Okay, we got it. The way the camera is situated, I look like an absolute monster. That's unreal. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's a crab apple tree. So it's right there. And that's what we're gonna be tackling today. So we are at our lovely crab apple tree. And we're gonna pick some apples, we're gonna toss them in the box, and we're gonna take them back to the chickens. Yep, at the... <laughs> That's our half bushel we just pick. Awesome. I just got eaten alive by mosquitoes. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. Box of apples. Marvelous. All right, here we go. Heading back to the house. Or as you say, the house and our chicken homestead. That's it. Sacrificed life and limb, eaten alive by mosquitoes for chickens. Yes, indeed. It's worth it. It's a good thing this side road doesn't have much of cars. Yeah, I know, considering we are taking up the entire road. Marvelous. I just want to reiterate that it was his idea to walk. Yes, indeed. As I said before, soon to come, I walk to the mailbox for the paper video. We have our apples, and they're just kind of sitting right there. We will be feeding the chickens shortly, but not today. Not today. We have plenty of work. All right, guys, for myself, Alan, and my nephew, Christopher, have you guys an awesome day today. Bye for now.